It has been a while since I played some Nightmare the Lunatic. When I last checked it out, it was January of 2022, I believe, which is ridiculous. It's been two years. It doesn't feel like it. But the game is in full release now. It's come out at the end of March, I believe. And I'm looking forward to coming in and checking it out because I've had so many requests to come back and play the game on its full release because apparently the game is made for me. Everyone is saying you have to play this. It's just exactly what you like. And in addition to that, it looks like all of the save data was wiped. Probably between the transition between early access and full release, maybe like that's a sign of so many things were changed that they couldn't keep the data, which does happen if there's been a lot of large sweeping changes in the game. But let's get in and take a look at what has changed with the game. It's a me, a little nightmare dude. I'm doing the tutorial, I'm running, I'm jumping, I'm, I'm doing my, my, my double jump, but we also have a wall cling, right? Yes, that hasn't changed, cool. So we could still wall jump. Very um, Hollow Knight-esque wall jumpies. Feels good, look at that. Sword, so swap buffs. So the way that nightmare works and why when I first made a video on this, I made comparisons to Skull, is that the game, instead of swapping skulls, like Skull does, this game encourages you to swap your weapons around. So you can have up to three different weapons at once, and whenever you swap them around, you get different buffs, which is pretty nice. But we have, you know, all of our stats down here. I always love seeing my stats. We have all of our totems, our weapons. We can even tab over and take a look at them. Uh, back sword, and be forged with blood, a hammer heavy enough to split the ground, and a bow too heavy for an ordinary person to draw. We also see all of our special stats and breakdowns on things so when you swap you get attack speed boost cuts down enemies while moving forward using an sp attack overload moves we'll get into all of this a little bit later so swapping weapons i just have to like hold my i've run out of gems they recharge every 10 seconds so you can use your like your right stick and just choose which direction to go and you can change this in the settings so the weapon type you can change from being fixed or rotational so if it's fixed, then you press like your right stick left, up or right to change to that exact weapon. Or if it's a rotation, then you'll go from, you know, one, two, three and cycle through. But if you're someone who likes having more control over it, you probably want it to not be on rotation, have it fixed. So I can go straight to my sword if I want by doing it to the left instead of waiting for it to go through the bow and then back around again. It's just, it's going to require a little bit more thinking. Whoa, my range is not as groovy as I thought. And we have an energy battery. Recharges all my SP, can be overcharged up to an additional 100%. Gimme. So now I can use my cool slash. Uh, if I do that, and I do that, I haven't got enough. But we are hammering it right now. Ugh, get hammered. Yeah, and if I swap to the bow, uh, there we go. It's so nice, dude. Shots. Good lord! I do not remember the bow being that power. Excuse me? So overload is R2. I forget what overload... It's it's weapon dependent, I know that. So if I do this and then I press that... Uh, uh, uh. That's right! I remember now. This is sick. Have that. Ridiculous. <laughs> okay, so we're in the merchant's wagon. This is where we're gonna start whenever we die. This is our weapon tree, the sword, mace, and bow were here. We've also got the revolver. Looks like it's unlocked by default, which I'm quite surprised at. I'm gonna do a run with, what's my, my, no! They say you learn by doing select abilities from the first and second row. Is this new? Is this different? Tactical swap. Weapon swaps recharge 20 SP. That's pretty nice. Recharge 2 SP per second. Weapon swap increase the effectiveness. So gain 4 for 6. Right. Interesting. I'll take the tactical swap first. That way it'll just keep me swapping more frequently as opposed to, you know, kind. I think energy clean kind of wants me to linger on weapons a bit more, although swapping is good. Uh, gem harvest. Recharge 1 gem on parry. That's very good. Gems are needed to do swaps. That would synergize very well or recharge SP on parry. Hmm, give me the SP. The SP leads to like big, cool attacks, right? So I want more SP, please. The gems recovery is nice. And that, to be fair, gem recovery on parry means I get access to more SP this way, but my gems won't recharge. You know what? No, give me the gems. Give me the gems. We're gonna create an infinite loop here. Oh my god, I found the collection of weapons. Look at all of this. Okay, that is way... 
Oh my god, dude! <laughs> okay, they have been busy getting weapons ready. There's, there is so, oh my god. Okay, cool, cool, cool. Okay, starting a run. Dude, it's been like two years since I've played an actual run of Nightmare the Lunatic. This is crazy. Pray, it looks like a healing shrine. I do not need healing right now. We're gonna remember that this is here though. This looks like a merchant. Straight away? Hmm. Interesting items, pocket money for myself. Yeah, let's go get some cash first. I'm not, I'm not ready to go straight into, hello sir. If I do this, I can then, yeah, I can then hit everyone on the screen. Ooh. Top of this. There we go. If we swap to my, my, my bow and arrow, I can't hit you from here though, can I? There we go. Uh, uh, take that. Take that, good sir. Done. I need to remember to parry attacks though. Parrying attacks is very, very, very important for me. I'm not sure if I can parry, like, can I parry everything or are there certain things I'm not allowed to? Give up reward. Oh, it's like a, a trial. Okay, cool. Go, 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 go. What? Oh, it's spikes, dude. I couldn't even, I wasn't even looking at that. Bro. Go ahead. Bro. I guess I have to... Ah. Uh, ah. Uh, ah. Uh, ah. Uh, he can do that. I wasn't sure if you could do... Um, what am I going to do? Oh. I wasn't sure if you could double jump after you did a dash in the air. A tiny bat that follows me? Thank you. I've got a little bat friend. Does this teleport me back, by the way? It does. Cool beans. Let's get out of here. I love having a little bat that... Oh, he's breaking stuff for me. I'm getting money for the... Yay! Yay! I love my little bat friend. What a lad. Oh, no stagger. Wait, wait, wait. No stagger? It parried. Oh my god, the hammer is so slow. Oh, it's very slow. We're gonna have to be careful with how slow the, uh, the hammer is when it swings at dudes. I'm gonna get myself in a lot of danger. There we go. Oh, I'm so used to there being stagger. There we go. That's pretty, dude, that's very nice. My charge, my core charge. Here's my teleporter. Where is that? Just anywhere, cool. That looks like a boss room. I don't wanna go in there just yet. I would like to go down here, please, into what looks like a reward room. Thank you. Give me the goods. Summon Eagle applies a mark on all enemies on the screen. Attacking marked enemies consumes their marks, resulting in crits. Cool. So that's like my special on use item thing by the looks of it. I like it. I like it. We'll try it out in this room. Mark them. <laughs> I love I love the eagle sound, dude. No. No. Ugh. There we go. Uh, uh. Very nice. Sword. Mm. Parry. There we go. There we go. There we go. We've got to practice the parries. Can I parry? I can parry that. Oh, you can parry like everything. Okay, cool. Very cool. Very cool. Parry frame seems very generous as well. I pressed the wrong button. Parry is, is R1, which I'm not very used to, especially considering that over the weekend I've been playing a ton of Elden Ring, and so now my my understanding of what buttons I should be hitting are getting mixed up like you wouldn't believe. Uh, fascinating, fascinating, fascinating. So we have over a thousand buckaroos. Can I come back over here and take a look at what you have to offer? Shock Absorber. Reduces damage taken by 30% and gains a stack equal to the damage amount. When it reaches 50, removes all stacks and deals 50 true damage. Also gives me more max life. Kind of cute. Increased crit chance. Just nice. I like that. Uh, when hit, increases life recovery by 50% for 15 seconds. Mm, the resilient rubber. I don't like the name. Why does it look like that? Recharges active totems to 100%. Restore some health and gain overcharge. Okay, so these are dominantly the items down there, and these are like the passive, like things that you can just grab whenever you need them. I wouldn't mind some extra crit chance. That'd be kind of nice. Yeah, give me, give me the the crit chance. We'll take that. Can I come down here now, and we'll teleport 
The right stick is used for so much. Oh, you! I vaguely remember you. Can you... You cannot parry that. Okay, cool, cool. We're learning. Uh, what if we... Sick. I'm sorry, when does that... It was so delayed, dude. Take that. Oh my god, that is so fast. I was trying to time a parry for that. It was very quick. Can I parry that, maybe? Oh, that stays on the ground. Okay, cool. That was weird. I wonder if I can parry the rocks. Hang on. I think the bat killed him. I don't think I parried that. I guess there's some attacks you can't parry on the boss and some that you can, because I tried my best and I couldn't parry the misties he was shooting out. Looks like this is the end of the forest. The dream is divided into sections. Can this really happen naturally? I'm not sure. Thought of a good idea. We can make use of it. I'll go on ahead. Follow me. You'll be amazed. Um, lovely. We've got the axe now. Newly obtainable things in the dream. Oh my god. Okay, so new things are being unlocked all over the place. Drops 300 dream shards. Thank you very much. The axe. Mmm. Overload will increase attack by 15% when you weapon swap your next five attacks within six seconds. Poison enemies? Really? Really? I might... Hang on. If I go onto this and if I... Swing the axe in a white area to slash nearby enemies and poison them. If I do this... There we go. Erosion effects apply to all weapons. Obtained erosion weapon. I don't understand. What does that mean? Erosion weapon. Hmm. The swing is nice and chunky, though. What's the special? Yep. Yep. I like it, dude. I like it. Let's try out the axe. Boundary shelter. The gap between zones with the wagon. Ah, this is where I get to rest up. So I can recover some life. Lovely. I could even grab... Is this just free? Wait, are these free? When life falls below 10%, restore 60 life once. That's pretty nice. One product in the shop is now available for free. Reduce gold earning by 10%. Oh. But jam recharge rate goes up. Trace of Nightmare. Omni Gem. Increase attack by 10% move. A lot of stats got by 10%, but I get a curse. Uh, can I get the one that, that heals me if I'm about to die? That'd be pretty nice. So let's smack these guys a bit. Let me let me poison one. Oh. Oh. So if I swap. Ah. The poison does indeed stack. And if you've got enough gems, you can just do quick swaps. You can just swap off and then back on again to very quickly build up your your gems because of my build right now. I see, I see, I like it. I remember this place. This is from the early access that I play. This is, this is, um, whoa. And I vaguely remember you guys too. Oh, there we go. So if I... Hmm. Oh, I can't just dash through you. Cool. Oos, oos, oos. Oos, oos. Wait, was that, was that poison? What happened to them? Dude, they died so fast. Parry. Poison slash. Slap. Poison slash. I went into the spikes? Lies. Try me. Oh, that's very quick, dude. Poison Slash. I think you're dead. Dude, my bat is doing so much work for me. Invulnerable. Oh, I can't parry out of that. I can't use cancel at frames as quickly as I think I can. I need to get much faster and tighter at doing the parries. I keep thinking that, like, basic enemies are going to be slow attackers. They're much quicker than I gave them credit for, to be fair. They're nasty. Yeah, as soon as you see it, just parry as soon as you see it. Yeah, there we go. Hang on. Ooh, scorpion. I'll poison you. How about that? 
I parried one, but I didn't parry the other one. Dude, this poison axe is very cool. I love poison. I love poison. So whenever I swap to another weapon from the axe, it looks like I gain a poison debuff. Is that what it meant by erosion weapon? So if I swap to the sword... Yeah, look at that. I'm still poisoning this guy. That's wild, dude. So wait, if I do poison axe, right? If I then... Humor me here. If I swap to the bow... Does that trigger poison? That's very good if it does. Like, that's insanely good if it does right i understand now what's this all about investigate with the words of the goddess inscribed hmm hmm there's things afoot hex tech motor increase attack speed motor speed by 10 percent for five seconds after using an sp attack thank you that's very nice very nice indeed um let us go straight up into the fancy special room I have money on offer now. Okay, so let's let's bust the sword out. And let's there we go. No, I didn't see in time. I wasn't looking. No, let me plink my jump, please. Go, go, go. There we go. Plink my jump. I have no idea how much I got, but it was definitely not enough. <laughs> I could have got a lot more. I'm trying to do like really, see see this like incredibly low to the ground dodge. I'm trying to get better at doing that. There's a chest up there. Wait. Oh, I tried to parry faster. That thing comes out quick. It's very quick. Uh, oh dear. Oh, you go all the way? I could have swore you must have had, like, like a gap. There we go. So the parry will, in fact, work even if he's got a shield up. So it kind of just stops him entirely. I like that. No, get stopped, kid. Oh my god, that little armadillo. There we go. I'm liking this axe. Parry that. Parry that, my son. Now, there was no chests or things dropped in here, right? No, okay, I need to go back. Where was that other chest? It was up here, right? There it is. Recharge 100 SP, can be overcharged. Thank you. Love it. I love that there's an overcharge system in general. That's very, very nice. Very, very cool. And I wasn't missing, nah, nothing else in here. Let's go. Oh, wait, I haven't gone down into this room below me and down here. Let's go down here. So far, I like this axe a lot. This axe is one of my favorites. Ooh. Sword. Very cool, very cool, very cool. Hit you with that. Swap. Dash around, hit you with that. There we go. Cool, cool, cool. We're going to get faster at this, and we're going to get better at this. My promise to you. There we go. Get poisoned. It's up to this. There we go. Very cool, very cool, very cool. We just need to parry more. More parries, more parries. Combat is fast, man. Was combat always this fast in, in Nightmare? I feel like it wasn't this quick, and I like that it's this quick. It's very, very cool, very fluid. Um, butcher knife, collect a stack of meat from slain normal enemies. Increasing max life by one for every five stacks. So the more more dudes I kill, the more life I get. The earlier we get this, the better. When entering a room, creates a ward that blocks one enemy attack. So I get one freebie. When entering a room, remove all items in the previous room. Ah, so if I if I don't loot everything in the prior rooms, I'll just... That's not too bad, to be honest. One free hit of damage at the cost of just losing chests if I leave a room and don't loot everything. That's pretty good. Attack speed goes up by parries. That's very good for encouraging me to actually use the right mechanic. Can I get both of these? I'll take that. I'm cursed. I'm gonna get that. And can I buy maybe a tiny heal? Because I'd like to... Recharges active totems. 
Oh, my, my eagle. I haven't been using my stupid bird. I suck. Hidden room? Oh. So at the cost of 70 life, killing an enemy allows one free weapon swap. Special attacks inflict shock. Weapon swaps grant a stack of secret technique. Each stack increases the attack and attack speed. I don't really want to spend any health right now, though, so I'm sorry. I'm just going to leave if that's all right with you. And then they're all gone because of forgetful. Cool. Or at least maybe, maybe not forgetful. Maybe I just lost all that stuff because, you know, that's the way the devil bargaining works. Um, Hang on. Am I? Yes, we're all good. We're all good. Uh, Let's just go, I guess. Is it still the lady? It seems different. Ow. Oh, I can parry that. Can I parry that? Cool. Trying my damnedest, dude. Oh, crap! That was very quick. Okay, you gotta react fast to that. That's not, that's not it. That's just phase one. I remember this. Lady? Yeah! There she is. Wings? Didn't she have wings? She's also very fast, if I remember. Wait, I can parry these. Yeah! Hang on, I gotta try the axes. Um... Oh dear. Man, I, I can't parry that, that's too big. You cannot parry that, okay, cool. I need to... I need to stop assuming that I can parry just everything and anything that exists, dude. Ow. I was parried? I just got parried by her. Oh, that just keeps going. Oh, 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 shit. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. I can parry those, surely. Can I not parry this? There's a lot of stuff I can't parry, dude. Thank you. I got parried again, but she's gonna die to poison. That was close. <laughs> I did use my eagle again. I keep forgetting that even exists. I unlocked the spear. I like spears. Open this up. So there's a lot of things. I need to learn what I'm allowed to parry and what I'm not. When you weapon swap, increase SP attack. Increase SP damage by 10%. Right. Right. So the overload will recharge 100% SP, and SP automatically recharges, and its cost is reduced. Impales enemy struck by the SP attack. Skips the casting animation. Right, 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 right. What was my... My axe's overload again? Diagonally with force poisoning them. And attack increased. Good. I was going to say, it's just me going off trying to kill a dude. I might put the spear on where my bow is, just to try it out, because I'm not using the bow as much. But the spear... Um, SP attack goes up. Charge forward in the direction of the movement key. Pressing the skill again skips the casting animation. Ignores all damage taken during the charge. Whoa! Are you serious? And the overload just lets me spam that a lot more? That's crazy, dude. You can't be serious. That might be a little much. Increase damage taken until clearing five rooms. Afterwards, you permanently increase max life by 40 and fully restore HP. I will take that, please. Greatly increases the range of dash after a double jump. Increase max life and life recovery. Reduces damage taken. Reduces movement speed for one second after using that. That's okay. To be honest, 15% less speed for one second after a dash does nothing. That's that's perfectly fine. But getting more life recovery, max life, and damage taken reduced by 15%, that's that's huge. Give me that. Give me that. I love that. 
You don't even feel it, dude. Look, there's my there's my movement speed reduction. Nah, that's fine. I like that attack. I like it. So if you press it again, it says you skip the animation. Hang on. Whoa! Okay, so what it's say what's saying is, what it means is, you can chain them together very quickly. You can do a lot of left, right, left, right. I like it. New place! I've never been here before. I love the look of it. Look at this, dude. It looks sick. Is this a Healy Shrine in here? No. The resonate? Resonate or pray? I don't know what this is all about. This is like curses and stuff, right? And this is... Hmm... Let's resonate, I guess? I didn't... I didn't see... I. Did I lose health just then? What did I what did I gain? Sir? I think I gained what did I gain here? No, that's all my Hmm. I'm not entirely sure. Secret room? Thank you. I like how the secret rooms are just open rooms. If you don't see them, that's it. They're just just they're right there. Weapon swap has a 30% chance to not spend a gem. Thank you. That's actually really, really nice. I appreciate that. Oh, I don't have my my ward, but I parried that. I swear I did. Yikes, dude. Oh, that's the ball he just shot out. I couldn't even see it. Holy shit, dude. Take longer. Yeah, you're, you're gonna die. I think swapping between poison and spear is gonna be pretty nice now. So poison axe. Spear. Oh! Yeah, look at all the poison build up. It builds poison so quickly. Need to parry more. But I'm not sure on the, the timing on these guys. It's all weird. It's different. Very cool. Spear swap into the skill straight away. Very, very nice. That's... Looks like the merchant room. Does Forgetful screw over the merchant room, maybe? Hmm. I'm gonna wait and not go in there just now, then I don't know. If it does, that would suck for me a lot. Alright, bats. We'll parry you. How about that? Poison Slash. We love it. There we go. A little bit of that. And my chest that I can't forget to grab, otherwise I'm in danger. You could just get the spear to show up again. I didn't realize that just weapons could come out of those... Like, so, I thought it was just, like, a special event. I didn't realize it was actually just going to do that. Axe? I'd like to ask you a question, my guy. Oh, my God. Okay, so he, he actually does travel across the screen when he does that punch. That goes far. Oh, cheeky attack, dude. Cheeky attack. I see you. That's the boss room. We don't want to go there just yet. We want to go down and to the left. Damn! Oh, you could shoot that up through the... Oh, I see, I see, I see, I see. Parry that. Parry that. Love it. I wonder if I can parry all of those attacks, like all those little bubbles that he's shooting at me. In here? Whoa! Well, that's my bubble gone. Oh, I messed up. I gotta get used to this parry. It's very different to what I'm... what I expected. There we go. It's very good, though. It's very good. It's got to get the timing down. So if you do it and you stand still, it's better than if I... Because I'm tapping forward. I'm doing, like, parry and going... For, I think I'm cancelling the parry frames while I'm doing that. Do the bird! Eagle powers! Land big crits. Sick. Yeah, there we go. If I do it and I don't move forward, I won't ruin it for myself. You're poisoned. And my bat killed you. Hmm. 
open this. Another spear. I want to be able to destroy them. Sick. Ow, my bubble. Doesn't matter. My bubble is my bubble is good. My bubble protect me. No. Cool. Sick. All right. I love it. I love it. And I can go in. No, not there. Where have I missed? Up here. Right. Up here we haven't gone into. This is cool, dude. I'm liking this. I can see why it was heavily suggested that I come back. They've, they've refined a lot of the things that I was messing with when I first tried this. It's It's gotten a lot more tight, I want to say. That did not parry. I wonder if I can parry the explosion. Enough. Oh my god, dude. I don't know if I want to use all my skills on my axe to poison dudes, or if I want to use them on the spear. I think I'll use it on the axe for bosses and the spear for regular rooms. Feels like it's just good that way. Uh, you can dash in the direction of the movement. Mm. I mean, I can dash... I can dash any... I have omnidirectional dashing now. Sick. Sick. I like how that's just an item effect that I can get. All right, shop room. And we'll see if the stuff that was in here gets destroyed when I leave. Increase the attack and attack speed of pawns. I'm assuming, is my bat considered a pawn? Where do I see that? You? Um. Because summon eagle, is that like a... Totems. So what's a pawn? Are you a pawn? There's nothing on the screen there that says or suggests that it's a pawn. Um, I'm not sure, but it says feed. For, it's it's feed for friends. It should be him, right? Fires moth caterpillar projectiles that ricochet to two nearby enemies. Wait. So how do I tell which thing is a? How do I tell what's going to replace the summoned eagle and what's going to just be a normal thing? Increase max life by 10. That's just, that's just nice. I like that. Um, yeah, give me some of that. So if I do this, um, hmm, nah, give me the, give me this. And if I take that, oh, I can just take them. Okay. Hmm. Curious is the trap maker's art. And if I go back in, they're all gone. Yes, Forgetful does screw over the shop. I'm lucky that I didn't make the mistake of checking it before I made more money. Alrighty then, let's... Um, I'm gonna swap to spear first. Hello, sir, Don Sagnan. Oh shit, what the, whoa! Okay, Donnie, oh, that's that, okay. Okay, that's a knife. That's that's a ground slam. Oh. Get parried, Donnie. That's crazy. I can dash under though. I parried him, I think. Oh, he always does that. All right, he always does that after. Get parried. Messed up. Oh, I think I messed that. Dashing too early. That's not like phase one, isn't it? Oh shit, I'm screwed. What happened? Oh no. I gotta use my eagle. Perpetual energy device. Don't like that. Don't Whoa, dude! Oh, 
I'm gonna assume I Don't like that, don't like that. Ah! Oh my god. Ah. No. Please! Did I do it? Yeah! With three health and a dream! It was so close. I got an achievement for killing a boss fight with 3% or less love. life left. Oh my god, that was, that was close. Buster Sword, that sounds great. I love it. When you weapon swap, increase attack by 10% and attack speed. Whoa, 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 whoa. This is a... Duh, look at all the text. SP attack. Sword stance. Changes into buster stance and fires a laser. Changes into sword stance and dashes forward while slashing through enemies. Right, this is a weapon swap. This is a, this is a, a trick weapon. Ignores all damage during the charge. Yeah, see, the ignores all damage during the charge part? I should be abusing that on my spear to get like iframes to go across the screen very quickly with iframes basically. I, uh, hmm. Or well, the overload attacks much faster with greater force. And Buster Stance fires a laser. Let's swap to this and we'll take it. Let's take a look here. So we've got, oh, it's like a, it's like a claw knife thing. Cool. So these are, th these are eroded weapons. I don't know what the eroded status means. Hmm. Increase SP damage by 10%. Same thing as that. So eroded just means that they're special and they get an extra bonus on them because the other weapons don't have that. So I found spears that do and don't have that. Hmm. So if I swap to this now, if I press my... Ah. Oh. That's very cool, dude. I like that. Wait, that's nice. That adds a whole new layer of, of complexity to how you want to use these items and weapons, dude. When you have no gems, increase gem recharge rate by two times. Killing a normal enemy restores life. If life is full, obtain a barrier. Or another trace of nightmare. For every stage, clearing all rooms except the boss room, restore 30% life and drop gold relative number of rooms. So it wants you to do all the rooms first. For every room, increase the first damage you take by 1.5 times. Hmm. Does my bubble negate that? Like, will my bubble just completely... I'm gonna try that, dude. That's kind of nice. I will genuinely take this just to see if the one hit per room bubble effect, like, invalidates this. The laser does good damage. Do the bullets penetrate? Kind of, sort of? I can't tell what's doing the most damage here. My my cool poison axe or my spear or the new weapon. I still feel like the axe is doing a lot of good work for me though. The poison status effect at the very least is doing it. All right, next new area, some sort of prison. It's gonna suck. Freezer! <laughs> Wait, what? <laughs> oh, ew, ew, ew. I should have known. Oh, I messed up. Pew Pew and Iron Maiden! Gross. Ah, I can only hurt you when you, when you, when you open up. I understand. <laughs> can I parry the mouth when it opens up though? That's my question. Whoa, cheeky little rat. There you go. Get that sword swing is really quick too. Very cool. 
very, very cool. I like, dude, I like these weapons. I'm still erring on the side of, holy shit. Okay, 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 okay. Good luck. That's the Grim Reaper. Holy shit. Bro, <laughs> scare the hell out of me. No! Oh, I was gonna parry that too. There, there we go, spear attack. Don't. Hang on. <laughs> this is very quick, dude. This is very fast paced now. This is insane. Swap to that. Do that. You're poisoned. He doesn't care, though, but he, he is poisoned. Even if he doesn't care, he's still poisoned. Ah! I don't know if that's. Hang on. I can parry it. Sick. Okay. Oh, okay. That did kill him, but. At what cost? He triple attacks. Cool. Okay. Okay. I'm just do. I have to parry everything. We're just gonna parry the world. We're going full P. Peverson here. That's a reference. If you don't get it, we can still be friends, but you know, we're gonna be good friends. <laughs> parry that. Sick. Damn it! That's so fast. Ah! Let me out. Get a hug from the Iron Maiden. Damn it. Damn it, it's... The timing on that set, bro. Bro. Take that. Damn it, why am I messing that parry up so... No, not another one. Die. <laughs> parry that. Oh my god, dude. Okay, so I have to parry facing the direction in order for it to work. That's good to know that you can't just parry and not be facing it. You have to be facing the attack. That makes so much sense. It helps. Oh my god! Bang. Ah! Aw, oh, you cheeky bitch. Die. Ooh. Love it. Okay, cool. Very cool. Very cool. Very cool. Scared, but very cool. Should have parried that. I can parry those. I know I can. I'm very good at parrying those. <laughs> Was the lie I said to myself. Can parry that. My ward. Damn it. Oh, that was the second follow-up. I thought the first one was the charge. It was not. Get me up here. Ah! Puss. There we go. I need to swap more. We can swap. Draw weapon. Revolver with an increased crit chance? Holy shit. I don't know. Revolver follows you for six seconds. Okay, let's, let's replace the buster weapon with this one for now. Because I'm not, I'm not using the bust weapon enough. So how's the revolver fire? Just okay. It's just good. It's just good. What was the rest of what it can do? Uh, so it quickly empties the magazine twice. Fire the revolver wildly, hitting nearby enemies. Cast the while moving and jumping. I need to be using my my ultimate more. I keep saving. I think I have to save it for like the final fight of each room, but of each like area. But I'm pretty sure I can use it multiple times. I'm being very sparing with it. Ooh. Ooh. Oh, it really does just summon another gun behind me. So if I do this, then... Oh, it doesn't do the ultimate, though. Okay, fair enough, fair enough, fair enough. Very cool idea, though. Very cool idea. Let's give it a whirl. I didn't even come close to getting a parry there. But my dodge... 
stupid rat die. Ugh. Oh god. Oh, he was doing stuff. Carry that. Carry that into you. Gun. It doesn't reach! Gain barrier, thank you. I love it. Gun's a bit tricky to use. But we will get to use it. We will use it. I gotta remember that I will heal if I do all of the rooms. So we're gonna do all of the room. Damn, dude! Yo, hit that mouse. Parry in the air. Die. Eat shit. Poison swing. Bang, 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 bang. Oh, he keeps going. Oh, what's happening? Oh, shit. Bang, 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 bang. He stay on the ground. <laughs> Help, he's dangerous. Parry that. There. Parry that. Oh, that almost ended in tragic. Dude, the axe is so good. <laughs> Thank you, Bat. Uh, we have a merchant shop, but before that, I'm going to go down and do the bottom room down here. Um, which I could have teleported to instead of doing this. I'm bad. I need to be swapping more, parrying more. I could be so much faster than I am. Let me try this out. Holy shit! I feel like that 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 screwed me over a lot more than it needed to, but it was really cool to be able to run and gun like that. Yo, the Arbiter? Halo reference? Drop two times the amount of items on the next chest you open. Consumed on use. Thank you. Oh. Yes, I will do that because I keep forgetting to use the damn eagle. Getting twice the goodies and the looties? I'll take it, dude. I'll take it. Have I had my heal yet? Do I have to go? I think I have to go to the merchant room in order to trigger this full exploration thing, right? Or does it mean secret rooms as well? Oh, I don't mean secret rooms as well. Um, I am way below the point of getting enough health, even if I do get that. Um, weapon swaps grant a stack of top. <laughs> Swap weapon, get top. Each stack increases gem recharge rate. Cool. Increase attack by 50% when the enemy's life is full. Good for one hits. Frozen heart. When hit, release a chill around me, knocking back enemies and free. Give me the barrier. Yeah, I need all the healing and barrier and, and just everything that I can manage to get. Is there a room I haven't been... Do I get the heal when I go into the boss room, maybe? Hmm. Guess we have to find out. If my health goes back up to full, then and I get some money, then we'll know that's how it works. Otherwise, I've just messed up and I didn't find a secret room somewhere. Hello, Frankie. Mr. Stein. Number 997. That's scary! Alright. Holy shit. Holy shit. I'm sorry, can I parry that? What? I'm so... I have to be able to parry that. There's no other way. Subdued? I can't parry that. Fuck you. Don't like that. I'm pressing the wrong button! <laughs> I'm pressing triangle instead of friggin' Nah, I'm pressing the wrong- I'm, I'm suddenly not parrying. Fuck! Ah! 
you can't parry that. Okay, the rules on parrying aren't clear, but we will figure... I think I can't parry yellow, but I can... He's gonna kill him! If I just sit here long enough, I'll win. If I just sit here long enough, I will definitely win. But I won't. I won't. All right, so this is where I get to spend my resources to unlock things. And it's gonna cost... I only have 37, though. No, it's free. Good. Provides Totem Sweet Apple for every respawn. Thank you. Healing Fountain in every stage. Use it to heal. Thank you. I'll take it. Uh, I can then sign this one. And then we have all of the other... Okay, so all of our meta progression stuff. It'll take a little bit, but we're getting there. Oh my god. Okay, first run down. No, there's three now. Yeah, the tree is definitely growing. So first run down, I really like the axe. Poisoning enemies feels really, really cool. Uh, the basic sword was really nice while I had it. The buster sword is probably better than I'm giving it credit, but I need to mess with it a bit more and like kind of figure out if I do like it or not. The revolver, I feel like it has good potential. Once again, I just didn't use it too much. The spear and the axe were kind of my two MVPs. Like if I, hypothetically, I just take these two, right? If I swap into the sword and I get the buff and then I swap back into the axe, you do keep those buffs, as you can see. Like, you keep them. So this makes the axe swing faster than it would when that buff runs out. Much faster. Look at that. You can really see the difference. So picking and choosing, like, more crit, um, that's attack speed plus, plus more damage at the same time. The revolver following me would be kind of cute, I guess. More damage? Yeah, I could definitely see... Um, although even my SP attacks, maybe the sword, the axe, and the spear. I don't know, man. There's a lot of cool stuff that you can do with this. All right, I'm going to cut this one off right here. Nightmare the Lunatic, full release. I'm actually very, very impressed with how much progress they made on this game since when I last checked it out, you know, two years ago, which it's been so long. I can't believe it's been two years already. There's a lot of good build variety with alternating different play styles in the middle of combat, which I'm a big fan of. Something that becomes very tedious and boring to me in a lot of action rogues is when you just have like one specific thing that you're going to loop and do over and over and over again and your playstyle is kind of set and chosen without much variance in it, so to speak. But with all of that said and done, I got to get out of here. I hope you guys have enjoyed some Nightmare the Lunatic. I'm going to swing back in for another run and see how much further we can get. See if I can get past this, this Frankenstein headless dude. I will see you all again next time. Have a good one.